Hello and welcome back to Gods Be Watching. This time we're going to go right on to Chapter 3. It's been a while since I've recorded and uploaded, but that comes down to the fact that uh, I've actually already recorded most of this uh, chapter, but it came down to the fact that the program I used to record my audio, my microphone audio, Audacity, sort of shat out on me. Uh, so I have to redo the entire thing because it was an hour and 30 minutes of corrupt audio, which sucked so much. Oh my god, that's loud. Oh, I have to turn this down. Hold on. But yeah, I've, I've played... I haven't beaten this yet, but I pretty know... I pretty much know exactly what to do. Um, so we have the team here. A couple new characters as well that you didn't see in Chapter 2. But you have Abraham and uh, Jack there. Welcome back, Sergeant Burden. This is uh, Ekuk. Allowed me, allow me to say on behalf of Ekuk... Allow me to say... I'm already screwing up talking, this is not gonna go well. There's a person in the background. Um, allow me to say on Ekuk's behalf, we're glad you came back in one piece. But it's time to get back to work. Your failure in infiltrating Xenolifer's ranks and sabotaging their goals has changed the rules of the game. This has left us vulnerable. Z Whoa, wait a second, was that a dude in like carbonite back there? I'm not sure. This has left us vulnerable. Xenolifer can now potentially commit a biological attack using the Medusa virus at any time. I keep getting distracted by things in the background. So yeah, we sort of screwed up. But sir, don't. Don't even start. Listening to your excuses of what is, is what put us in this situation to begin with. We have to be ready to fight any biological threat. That's your main and only objective now, Sergeant. Is that clear? Yes, sir. On your next mission, you'll have to spend several months on the surface of Senecos. Seneca, you know, I had trouble with that last time too, and I didn't get any better. If you read the mission briefing, you'll know that the Senecos is the home world of the Medusa virus. You'll be leading an Everdusk science team whilst occupying the planet. Your mission won't be complete until you find a cure for the Medusa virus. Sounds more like a punishment to me. Do you have a problem with your assignment, Corporal Maslow? Two soldiers to look after three scientists and a robot? Please. That's enough, Jack. Sorry, sir proceed. I see that you have already met your team. Let me introduce them to you. Sarah Gaynor, specialist in psychiatrics and brain genetics. After all we've heard, it's a pleasure to meet the legend at last, Sergeant. Dr. Paul Zanez, expert in bacteriology, bionics, and the former chief of the counter-viral department of the Constellar Federation. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. Our job at, since, at Sinaikos is just as important as fighting terrorists. Don't undermine this operation by taking it as a punishment. They won't, Doctor. Donald Gaynor, specialist in robotics and electromechanics. I'll be in charge of the maintenance of our ship and equipment. Also, I told the command earlier I'm bringing with us experimental robot I've named Brandon, our BR4N-DON. Experimental in what way? Well, it's... C <laughs> I don't know why I'm making him sound like an old man. I have no idea what to voice him with. Uh, well, it's kind of a discarded project of the Constellar Federation. Essentially, Brandon is an empathetic droid. He was designed to analyze human emotions and status and try and please its owner and guests. The project was deemed a failure, though, since after a couple of years, the empathetic module became overwritten with its owner's personality. And the droid suffered an ex existential crisis, and well, with well undesired consequences. How useful! This model has been customized by me personally. By formatting its brain once a year, I promise you, Brandon is totally safe. Also, it's not for your pleasure. When requested, he'll give us various readings of our performance, moods, and morale throughout a mission, and can help us notably improve our productivity. Quite freaky, in my opinion. I'm sad to hear that, but I'll do my best, sir. Uh. Come, Sarge. Don't be mean to him. You may end up liking him. Gentlemen, you'll have to talk about personal details on the ship to Senecois. Dismissed. Wait a second. What about the dog? Huh. What about the dog? Fucking doctor. It's not wise to have a dog inside the lab. My ass. This dog has served the Everdusk better than most of the soldiers on the ship. Knock it off, Jack. Dr. Zanez only wants the best for the mission. We'll end up liking Marvin. Everybody does. Or he'll. Good boy. So let's launch the stick again. 
I thought I'd miss my arm when that psycho cut it off. But now I understand why there are people who sacrifice a limb just to get one of these awesome bionics. So yeah, he lost his arm in the last part, that was a while ago, and he just got an awesome robot replacement. Again, Jack knows what's going on with robots. It's not very popular with the ladies, though. But for a soldier, I couldn't dream of a better implant. You should totally give it a try. No thanks, I'd like to be popular among the girls. You? Ha, huh, don't make me laugh. I've never even seen you looking at a single woman. So, you keep track of who I'm looking at. Oh, fuck off. Good boy. Can I ask you something, Burden? I'm always afraid of what follows when you ask that, but shoot. Do you really expect to dismantle Xeno Lifer peacefully? Man, I don't know. Lima is a good guy, though. Maybe I don't agree with his methods, but I respect his cause. In any case, it was worth trying. Ecock orders or not, it would have been a waste of a bullet to shoot such a brave man. I thought we joined Ecock so we wouldn't have to solve all of our problems by killing people. I thought you joined Everdusk because the Constellar Federation put a price on your head. <laughs> yeah, and also that. Let's launch it again. Well, I like Xenolifer too, but ultimately they're terrorists in the end. In the eyes of the Constellar Federation, yes. For me, the Federation seems a much greater threat than Xenolifer. At least Xenolifer fight for equality and freedom. Or the other way around. It's history that'll put a label on Liam. For me, he's a hero. You really like that blonde punk, don't you? Well, the Fed forced us to kill people, and when I wanted to stop, they hunted me. Liam risked his ass to get us out of that torture facility. That settled whatever reservations I had towards him personally. What do you, what do you think of the team we have here? Besides the doctor not liking Marvin. They seem nice enough, very professional and focused on the mission. Sarah's a cutie, and it's a pity she's married to that engineer. So yes, I like them. Being stuck on this rock is gonna be boring as hell, though. After three years in Xenolifer and surviving that madman's torture, I thought you'd enjoy a vacation. Vacation needs sun, beer, and hotties. Sinoicus is just a giant, ice-ridden prison with deadly airborne virus spreading across its surface. Good boy. Man, I missed Marvin during all those un years undercover. Yeah, he missed you too, Sarge. I think that was the last dialogue option. So if we toss it again, he'll just not do much. Oh, good doggy. He knows how to fetch a, st a stick. Yeah, it's just going to be the same thing again. Woof. Woof. Look at that ship in the background. That looks awesome. Oh, good doggy. Alright. So now let's just head back inside. Back to work. So now we're on the planet with the Medusa virus. And then she said, I thought it was a mer mercurial snake. Man, you are sick. Welcome back, gentlemen. How's the research going, Doc? Excellent. Sarah and I detected what caused paralysis within the Medusa virus. It attacks the muscles with a parasitarian live net. And it also freezes the user, introducing a coma. Then it keeps the vital functions running to create a perfect environment for spores starting to grow in the victim's body. Sounds like, uh, some sort of horrible, terrifying disease for insects that we have here that, uh, The Last of Us is based on. I don't remember the name of it, but it's terrifying. Sarah and I introduced the amount of possible compounds to five, so we're gonna be pretty close to finding a cure. We'll probably be able to leave Sonokos in a couple of months. A couple of months? Oh, man. Cheer up, Jack. The estimated completion of this project was set at a year and a half. What? I have to start reading the mission brief briefings. I would have deserted if I knew that. Oh. Oh, there's Liam and Shaman. Hello, everybody. Abraham, man, how are you doing? Or should I call you Sergeant Burden? Liam. Don't worry, man. You had a job to do. No hard feelings. I'm glad you made it out of that holistic empire prison, after all. You and your team will come in handy right now for Xenolifer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I heard you saying you're researching a cure for the Medusa virus? Cut the crap, Liam. What do you want? How rude, Jack. Even after all we've been through, I hoped you'd be glad to see me. 
To answer your question, though, I want you to give us the cure and the Medusa virus, and I want it now. Excuse me, Mr. Liam, but we are not far from discovering one at this point. Oh, but we are far. There's still a lot of work to do here. Oh, that's too bad, especially since I'm in a little bit of a rush right now. Fine. Tell you what. Discover your cure by tomorrow and you won't die. What? That's impossible. Don't underestimate yourself, lady. The threat of death can be a wonderful motivator. What's that they say? Necessity is the mother, inv mother of invention? No? Shaman can provide that motivation. Shaman? Indeed. C4 have been motivating humans for centuries. Jack, calm down. Liam, listen to me. You're a reasonable man. I'm sure we can find a peaceful resolution here. Oh, no, no, no. You won't talk your way out of this one, Sergeant. I know you, Burden. You can survive this just like everything else. After all, you're a legend, aren't you? Time to prove it. Liam! There's a bomb right there. Oh. Yep. And there goes the bomb. Fuck! Fucking Xenolifer, fuck! Oh my god, are we gonna die, aren't we? This can't be happening. Everybody calm down. Liam is not an assassin. He wouldn't kill us for mere revenge. Tell me you're not defending that son of a bitch. Don't lose your cool, Jack. If he wanted us dead, we'd be dead. We better start working, and working fast. Doctor, how much time do we have? Based on our research so far, we'll be dead in about 70 to 27.5 hours. That's plenty of time. Brandon, how much debris do we have blocking the exit? Dot, dot, dot. 3,712 kilograms exactly, sir. Okay, that's a lot of work, but if we cooperate, we can dig all that shit out in time. You forget the fact that we are all infected. Even if we get out, we'll be dead. Understood. Your mission, then, is to find a cure in less than 48 hours. That's impossible. Doctor. Well, there are some lines that can be crossed in order to speed up the investigation. Cross them. What do you mean, Doctor? Human experimentation. Are you insane? Are you just gonna sh blindly shoot random compounds into your cells? Well, we can choose between sudden death or a possible death. I don't know about you, but I'll take my chances. Sounds like a plan. Okay, listen everybody. Start digging and follow the doctor's instructions. We have to avoid overworking ourselves. In this situation, being well rested is just as important as working. I think Sarah and I can produce some th synthetic altercations through the use of the chemical computer. Adrenaline will help speed up work and sedatives will help you rest better. There are some setbacks, Doctor. Adrenaline will make you feel pretty tired after working due to overworking. And sedatives will leave a person knocked out for a good bit of time, but it's a good way to recover faster. Right, in any case, you should be working mainly on developing an antidote. What steps should we follow, Doctor? Step 1, produce an antidote. Step 2, inject it into somebody. Step 3, pray. Finally, step 4. If the subject endures the shot, we analyze their blood and see what went wrong, and what went right. Then repeat. I'm a little lost. Don't worry, focus on leading the team. If you want to know more about any respect of the research, just ask me. Okay. Since the time is crucial, we should work in spans of 30 minutes. Use that clock on the top right corner of the computer to begin work sessions. After every 30 minutes of work, we can reassess the situation. Okay, Everdust team, let's... Wait a second. What? Seems the power supply has been damaged. We can't let the battery drop below zero or we're screwed. How the hell do we avoid that? Sir, I volunteer myself to connect the broken power supply. Donald, is it safe? Well, Brandon is tough as hell. It might actually work. And I can do maintenance on him so he doesn't get toasted. Or you can sacrifice me and leave me as a permanent connection so the power won't be a problem anymore. No way. I need you digging as much as everyone else. Yes, sir. Okay, Everdusk team. Oh. <sighs> yes, doctor. Sorry, I just wanted to remind you that it, we, what we found in research prior, if any of us experiment paralysis, we can fight it with a temporary jolt of electricity. That's why the defibrillator unit is here. I can do the preparations, we just... We can have up to three charges on standby for use. And in the meantime, you get to stop digging, don't you? Those are the benefits of having a wider set of skills other than just shooting things. Hey, that's enough. 
Okay, everyone knows what they have to do. Everdust team, burden. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead. I give up. Everybody do your best. Our lives are riding on this. Everdust team, let's do this. Okay, now we could actually play the game after 50 minutes of sitting there reading out stuff. My throat is already sore. Hold on, I have to take a drink of water. That was... Oh. Okay, so let me try to explain this as best I can. We have two objectives. We have to clear out this this rubble here so we can actually get out before the air dissipates, I guess. And we have to find a cure. To find a cure, we have to use this computer and these two people can research it. Everybody else is basically dedicated to digging other than like Brandon and Donald who have to work on getting the defib units because people will randomly get paralyzed for some reason, maybe the virus. And Brandon here has to connect these two wires so that this computer used to research the cure doesn't die from uh, from power loss, I guess. And uh, basically we just have to manage all of that crap. I've done this before. I got to like maybe the halfway point, but then I sort of lost the stupid audio. So we're going to have to use a computer here. Let's use Research Antidote, Initializing Compound Setting Sequence, Choose Risk Level. Uh, what I like to do usually is go with Unstable here. Everything else, this is like percentage-wise if the person will die, because we have to research a virus and do trial and error, basically. And this is all different chances of dying, so... One good thing about this is that if we know the correct sequence of compounds, then um, even if we select Lethal, they'll still be alive because it's a cure, so... Let's go with unstable. Select compound number one. So we have to select three. I'll go with omega, lambda, delta. Setting new project, research nature, unstable. Risk of death, 20%. Compound setting, omega, lambda, delta. So basically old, OLD. And now she's researching that. I can also have the doctor help out with it. I should probably have him help out research the antidote first. Try to get this first one going as soon as possible. Um, another good thing to note is that the compounds can never repeat, so there can only be one O, and there can also only be one of any sort of letter. So it can't be like O-L-O, -O or O-O-L, or like O-L-L, -L. You, you know what I mean. If not, then I'm sorry for explaining things terribly. Donald should probably charge a defib for now. There we go. I'm gonna have Brandon uh, connect the power lines. Actually, I'd like to ask him a question as well. So, uh, request information, debris performance. This is this is our list of all of our different people here and how well they're performing based on uh, percentage-wise. That's as much debris as we have left, which kind of is terrible. Too bad I can't just have Brandon dig that away because he does not care about digging. He, he never gets tired about anything. Sergeant Burden, I'll have him dig. I'll just set everybody else to dig. When everybody has a task, use a clock on the top right corner of the computer to start a work session. Yep. So we have a crap ton of turns to get this all of this debris moved out and find out the antidote. So let's roll over on the first turn and see what happens. Oh man, the first turn of many frustrating turns. So we've made that much progress on the antidote and the battery has gone up. Brandon is getting hurt, so after one turn, let's look at our performance. Yeah, we're starting to sur uh, slowly lose percentage. Brandon is is getting real hurt here, um, but I'll, I'll just I'll have him stay on the the power lines for now. I'm gonna roll it over again. Oh man! They also mentioned two different sort of chemicals. Those d two different chemicals are important in my opinion. One of them is a sedative, which makes you, once you're really tired, you take it and you go rest for a bit, and it'll make you uh, really tired, basically, which is what a sedative does. And then you'll rest really fast, though. Uh, a, what was it? Adrenaline, I think it was? That makes you work faster for a short amount of time, and then you just pass out, just get zonked out, so... But unfortunately, the only way to make those is to have one of these two make it, and they take away from the antidote research, unfortunately. I'm gonna see what, uh, what he's doing. And to fix Brandon, right here, you can see he's at 8%, you have to have Donald to repair him, so... Yeah. I'll work for another 30 minutes. We're doing pretty alright here. Uh, 
I've never gotten an antidote this far this early. So that's nice. I'd like to keep track of it via my phone here. I have to open up the, the notepad as well. I'm going to turn it over one more time. And I'll probably have what's-his-face repair Brandon there. Oh, there we go. Research complete. Awesome. So now there's a vial. She's going to pick it up. Okay. And now we can test it on somebody. So the antidote is, has a chance of killing somebody. Just like flat out murdering them. Um, I probably don't want to use it on one of the researchers because that'll put them out of the uh, out of the research um, I think I'm gonna use it on crap I, I think I'm gonna use it on Jack here yeah because he if he, the, the higher your body mass the more chance you have of not dying horribly so let's inject him with it antidote old all right and I think after this turn I'm gonna have Donald repair Brandon I'm gonna have to put these guys on a new antidote as well. Probably use some of the other, uh, some of the other compounds. I think there's a total of six, so that's neat. Okay, now we just wait and hope that he doesn't die horribly. Use computer. Yeah, he passes out. Another good thing about using the antidote is that um, they they pass out, so they like get rested and stuff. So then once they get back from it, they'll uh, they'll be fine. Let's go with Alpha, Beta, and a a Abo. Yeah, Abo. Let's have him help out with that too. And that's basically just what we have to do. We have to try to use our uh, logical senses to find out the compound sequence. And then once we get that finished, we can well hopefully cure the the world. Okay, one more time and I'm gonna have him repair Brandon, because Brandon has been just getting electrocuted for days. Just days. And by days I mean hours. So what is he at? Brandon is at 50%. What's his, what's this guy at? Donald, 85. I got him really sad that he hasn't, you know, gotten that third defib yet. So I'm gonna have this guy stop and then I'm gonna have him repair Brandon here. There we go. We have enough defibs for now. We should be fine. Um, I can't check the information while he's repairing him, which kind of sucks, but understandable, I guess. Let's get him move on. He's gonna take six turns, I think it was, to come back awake. I just hope he doesn't start, like, spazzing out. And he should wake up in about 60 minutes, so that's like two turns. Let's wake him up. One more turn. I really enjoyed this. Too bad, like, one of the things I like about Risk, uh, uh, not Risk of Rain, I keep getting th that game and this game mixed up because of the art style. You didn't die. Awesome. That is very good. So now we have to analyze his blood. But one of the things I like about this game, my favorite thing, pretty busy. You know what? Stop working, please. Yes. No, stop working. I like the fact of trying to figure out what the hell to do when you have no idea what to do. You're just thrown into a situation, and you have to figure, you have to basically do a lot of trial and error. So we're going to analyze his blood here. And see which compounds are correct and which ones are false. So we can better get a good sense of uh, of knowing what to do. So this is compound old. Okay, now we just have to wait for him to put the, the blood in the machine here. There we go. Radiant substance structure, Medusa virus, I mean Medusa antidote effectiveness. Get my notepad out here. Okay, O is not in the compound, so that's what that means. Now L. L is in the correct spot. L is uh, in the compound and in the correct spot, so I'm going to mark that off with a, with a 1 here. And then D is not in, so... <sighs> O and D. So that means uh, in, in this one that I'm making here, since it's A, B, O, O is going to be wrong. I know that. And then uh, I'm going to maybe, hopefully, A and B are somewhere. Like, B is definitely not in the correct position because L is there. Um, but next time we can figure out what the hell is going on. So I'll have him dig for now. And then I think... Uh, I, I would have injected... What's his face? Sergeant Bird in here. 
to to do that. But unfortunately, Burden doesn't get affected by the antidotes at all. Like, you can't test it on him. It's just a waste, basically. So that sucks. Nope, don't want to analyze his blood. Yeah, it would be useless. Use computer, and I'll just have him... I don't know what I, what I can do. Inventory? Oh yeah, I have nothing. I think I'm doing pretty alright here. I'm not doing terribly. Which is probably half the fun of watching me play this. Is watching me fail horribly. Um, so what is Brandon at now? Quest info. I want to see the entire team. We have 3,100 kilograms. Well, about 3,200 actually. Brandon is fine. Yeah, he, he's, he's doing fine. So I'll have him continue to connect the power lines. And Donald can go back to charging defibs. Because we need those defibs. Because if you don't have any defibs, you are screwed. That would suck. Let's turn over the clock here. And then the second antidote is good. There we go. Uh, should I get Jack back or should I get Donald? I think I'm going to get Donald. Yeah. Donald needs a rest, I think, right? Let me, let me see what's going on with the info. Donald's at 67. Yeah, he needs a rest, so I'll have him inject with uh, A, B, O. So I gotta remember, L is in the middle, O is not, like, not in the compound at all. D is not in the compound at all. So it's A and B. We're testing out for A and B here. Okay. L is in the middle there. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's, that's right, he has to pass out. Oh, he has, has to have some time to react with the... with his stuff. So, use computer. And I think I'll just produce a sedative here. And I'll have Sarah help him out with that too. Produce sedative. I think they work better when they're working together. Unless, let me see what they're at, because... If they're at a lower percentage, this might be a good time just to have them rest. Yeah, I think I'll have Sarah rest a bit. Uh, actually, no, I'll just, I'll have them do one, one sedative before I have them rest. That sounds like a good plan. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much they researched by themselves. I mean, with each other. I keep misclicking. It sucks. I so can rest because he'll finish that up by himself. Easy. Um, yeah, everything's looking fine. Okay. Let's turn over the clock. And hope that nobody gets paralyzed, because that sucks. Basically, you just have to use a defib on them. A research complete. Hell yeah. So there's a sedative in the pocket. And he'll be up in... How many turns? Yeah, in one turn. So, this shouldn't be too bad at all. Um, you can rest for one turn if you want, Doctor. That's fine. What is Brandon at here? Uh, 67. Okay. Let's do this. <clears throat> there he is. He didn't die. Thank God. Shit, it got me. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to defib him, which is nice. It got me. I think he's talking about the virus, but the first time I played this, I was like, what, what got him? Seriously. And I didn't know that you could go over the two minute, like two hour, 30 minute mark, so I was just constantly putting him back on and off the, the power lines there, but then I figured it was just better to overcharge the battery. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, so we should probably analyze his blood. That would be a good thing. Analyze blood. All right, now he's gonna walk over to Sarah here and get injected with a needle. Isn't that always fun? I personally don't really care for needles. They're kind of annoying. So let's see. A and B is what we're testing for. O and D, I think it was, had nothing. So that was unfortunate. Uh, D was a whole lot of nothing. A is in the correct spot, so it's AL something. Let's see if B is it. Okay, it's ALB. Alb. That's good to know. All right. And then O is nothing. So we know that it's ALB through the power of deduction. Sherlock Holmes would be so proud. Wait, does this cap out at 10 then? I think it might cap out at 10 because it should have gone up once. Um, let's let's use these guys to get them on uh, researching here. Uh, we can do lethal, right? I'm 
pretty sure we can do lethal. Let me check with the doctor before we do this, because I don't want to completely screw this up. Ask about antidote risk. What's the difference between a risky antidote and a safe one? Well, basically the difference is in the time we spend developing it. The more time spent on various protocols to be safe, the longer it'll produce. On the other hand, we can speed it up by making a few shots in the dark and hoping that everything goes right. Safer antidotes will be easier to endure for the subject. Riskier antidotes will be more likely to cause death. But if we can discover the right compounds for the cure, even lethal antidotes would be harmless. Okay, so we know that's ALB. Unless if I'm screwing this up. Because that would suck horribly. Um, yeah, alright. Team's weights, yep. Marvin is the weakest, and Donald is the fattest. What about me? I don't know. Ecock didn't give me any medical sergeants about you, sergeant. I mean, or just... Oh my god, I should not be doing this right now. Okay, um, use computer to research. Antidote. ALB, hopefully I'm not completely screwing this up, because I might have killed somebody then. A. L. B. ALB. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be ALB. That's the only thing that makes sense. Risk of death of 100%, yeah, because if I screw this up, then somebody's dying. Like, there's no way. Use computer, research. Let's have him help with that. Okay. Donald should probably charge. What is everybody looking like, Brandon? You're probably not doing so hot. No, he isn't. Sergeant Burden is just not having a good time. Uh, the little dog isn't having a good time either, but he can rest in a bit. I think I'm going to eject the dog with it. Let's roll over the clock and see if this battery goes up, because if not, then I'm wasting Brandon's life here. No, oh, it does. That's nice. ALB. Now, who wants to die? Oh, jeez. Oh, God, I really hope I didn't screw this up. Okay. Marvin. Come on, Marvin. Okay. Antidote ALB lethal. Oh, man. I'm gonna feel so bad if... It's just a poor innocent dog, and Jack loves the dog, too. That makes it even worse. Oh, look at his little face. Oh, It would be sadder if it was a cat, though. That's just a fact. Man, poor Brandon. He's just getting shot constantly. Marvin, diagnosis. Looks like he should be doing fine. Like he's doing fine. Should wake up in about 180 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to have Brandon stop, you know, dying there. And I'll have Donald repair him. Alright, so now I think we can wait. I think I'm going to have them produce another sedative while, uh, while we do this here. Produce sedative. Use computer. Produce sedative. Let me help you with that research. Hmm, yes. And I'll have Sergeant Burden take a rest here. Actually, no, I'll have him keep digging, because that makes the most sense. Roll over the clock. I'm pretty sure I have enough time now. I don't need to put Donald back on the... Back on this, I'm pretty sure. No, no, I definitely don't have enough time. What am I thinking? Uh, who's... I think this doctor is more exhausted, so I'm going to have him rest for this turn. No, don't keep working, buddy. There we go. Now take a rest. Take five. Or 30 in this case. Dog looks to be doing fine. I'm pretty sure the compound is doing it good. Yeah, he ain't spazzing out. He ain't dying. His head isn't exploding, so... It's totally fine. Diagnosis. Should wake up in about six turns. Okay. Let's do this again. I should probably have her rest. They don't automatically rest for some reason. They just stand around like, hmm, I'm feeling really sore and, uh, not doing so well. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Sergeant Burden isn't doing so well, so I'm going to have him, I'm going to inject him with a sedative here and have him rest. Because that way, he'll be able to get right back to digging in, in, in uh, about two turns, I think. So, that ain't too shabby. <laughs> Sarah just picks up his arm and just shoves a pixel-wide needle. That felt pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he rests. He doesn't sit down or anything. He just stands there. So now we're just waiting on uh, Marvin to come back to us. Because that's how this is done in science. Yeah. 
Oh, we've got about for, uh, 40 turns left, and then we're we're screwed. He feels pretty rested. Okay. Well, then you can get back to making sedatives. Use computer. Produce sedative. What is Sarah at? I need to check this. What is Brandon at for that case? 100%. Hell. I should have him just dig for now. Screw it. Um, should probably ask what everybody else was at first. Brandon. I don't like that I have to, like, go to Brandon every time I want to check the, the team. It just makes everything complicated. Okay, so we have the Doctor, Jack, Marvin. I think my audio was just cutting out there for a second. Hopefully that didn't mess with the... The recording of my voice. I'm getting really paranoid here because something's happening. I need to check on that and make sure that uh, this audio didn't screw up for the past 30 minutes because that would just make me hate everything about life. So I'll be right back. I need to check on that. All right, everything's looking just peachy. So I was I was getting paranoid there, but apparently Windows set my priority on this game down to be low normal. So I don't know why it does that, but it's like, hey, you want to play a video game? Well, let me just make sure that's not a priority on your computer's processor, even though, you know, you just launched it or something. Okay, so the doctor is looking completely fine. Sarah is looking a little pooped, but she's all right otherwise. Sergeant Burden is resting. Marvin is recovering. When is he gonna be back up? Two turns. Okay. Sarah, I'll just have her rest for now. Uh, yeah, everything looks fine. Let's just keep moving. Try to get this uh, episode pumped out before my audio, I mean, my, my hard drive space runs out. Because that would suck. So, that would suck a lot. I'll have, her, uh, I'll have her help with the sedative here. Because otherwise I won't get it done within time for this guy to wake up. So work. And we get to see what this if this compound was right. Yep, the dog looks completely fine, even though we used a 100% lethal uh, antidote thing. He was fine, so I'll have Sergeant Burden go back to the dig site there. And now we can analyze Marvin's blood. We even got the sedative done in time, too, so that's nice. Oh, this should be the correct compound. If it's not, then I'm going to be just completely thrown off my game. And by the way, this is randomized every time, so if you are playing along back at... Uh, like, at home, then it will not be the same. So try not to kill Marvin with the compound. But you probably already did that if you were trying. First compound reacts correctly. Second compound reacts correctly. Third compound reacts correctly. Yeah, this is the right one. Awesome, congratulations. Now all we have to do is find the compounds for the second structure. Wh wait I thought you had said this would save us. I'm sorry, Sergeant. The Manusavirus attacks the brain and the muscles. We just found a cure for the physical paralysis, but there's still a mental effect. The virus's logical effects are my speciality, that's why I came here in the first place. Yeah, great. Listen, it's good to have you here, but please, next time you scream Eureka, make sure this is the final one. Yep, so now we just have to find the second compound. Isn't that just glorious? Yeah. So, we got about- this is about the, t the, the same place I made it. Uh, on my first couple of run-throughs, I got to, well, like, no time left. I think it was two hours and 30 minutes left on the clock here. And I had basically all of the rubble dug. But my problem was I had to find the second compound in two hours and 30 minutes, which is, I think, impossible. So I'll, I'll set it to unstable here. And I think it's the same thing, um, just with one compound added on. I could be wrong about that, so I'm just going to go with the same thing. A, L... B, and then the fourth compound, I'll just go with O. Alright, so risk of death 20%, I think I can take that. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself, because that would suck. I'll have him help out with that, and Donald can actually start doing something, so charge the defib, you dumb. I think I'm gonna eject Donald next. And, let's just advance the clock. The robot working on the dig site there takes, I think, hardly any... Uh, damage from digging. I, th I don't think he takes any, actually, at all. So that's really nice. The problem is you have to have him charge that, otherwise he would just constantly be digging for me. Request info. Yeah. He he's almost... Yeah, he's 100%. He has no problem with this. 
Uh, everybody else, on the other hand, Jack, for example, he is at 50%. Although we are clearing debris real quick. Like, we've done almost a thousand in the last two or three hours, which is insane. Donald, I, f I didn't check what Donald was at. So I need to check that. See if I can send him to the dig as well. 65%. Alright, I'll have him rest for a little bit. The baby. Ah. <sighs> I love this music. It's fantastic. And we're just continually working. Just keep working. We can do this. We can do this. In no time at all. If we just keep trying. Oh man. One more turn and we can check to see if this, uh... Well, actually we can just inject somebody. In that case. Dig group. Okay, let's work for another 30 minutes and get this antidote injected into somebody. Who am I gonna inject it into? What about Jack? Yeah, I think we'll go with Jack here. That would be a good idea. Jack. I'll wait till he picks it up. Because I don't think it'll go in his inventory otherwise. So inject. Antidote ALBD or O. ALBO. 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 Battery's at 530, so I'm gonna have Brandon go back to the power lines for a little bit. Connect power lines. Now Jack should take a rest here, which is always great. So now we get to see what O is. I'm not sure if the same like compound failure co uh, carries over from the same from the first structure, but hopefully it does because that would be really nice. Otherwise, I think we have enough time to figure it out. I I'm confident in this run. I am quite confident. So let's work. Ah uh, crap! I didn't set them to do something. I wanted to get a sedative out of them or something. God damn it. That sucks. It got her. Okay. Well, gonna have to defib her. Nope, not Brandon, please. Uh, Sarah. Defib. Yep. Just gonna have to, have to shock them out of paralysis and their weird walk animation that's pretty much broken. I don't know if I like that sort of thing. That paralysis thing. I guess maybe if it has to do with a the virus, then I'm fine with it, but otherwise it's... I don't know. Use computer. I don't want to... Oh, I should probably research another antidote, just in case this one is a fluke. So, O... Oh, I shouldn't do O, oh, should I? I should cancel the thing. I should cancel it entirely. Let me just... do. I should try to research other ones that I don't have, so stop working. Abandon project. Okay. Now what did I do to him? I forgot what I did. I think it was A-L-B-O? Yeah, Albo. Research antidote. Unstable, as usual. Um, let's go with D-L-O-A. Uh, I, I can't not overlap here, but there we go. Sarah should help out with the research. Let me see what the team is at. Quest info. Uh, the doctor is fine. Sarah's at 64%. Donald is all yeah, he's he's totally fine. Just charge a defib, you dumb. What's the rest of the team at? Bird and Marvin? They are at 70 and 55% respectively. And I think Jack should be waking up here soon. 90 minutes. If we give him an adrenaline shot, then uh he'll wake up. I think that'll cancel out the effects of the antidote as well, so that's good. Work for 30 minutes. Okay. Again, I think I'm a little bit confident. Hopefully I don't get too confident, though, because that would suck. Let's continue working. I think everybody's doing fine in the position that they're in. He just fell on his ass. You just dig, I guess. Just keep digging. And Jack should wake up next turn. And we can see what the hell's going on with this compound. There we go. He made it. He made it to the other side. And I think he got a rest out of it too, which is always nice. So sure, uh, Sarah should stop working, not keep working. Stop working. Yep. And now you can analyze his blood. And let's see if Albo is the correct compound to fight the muscle structure? No, the mind structure, I'm pretty sure it was that we're going after now. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be. <clears throat> okay. 
Elbow. Antidote Elbow. That's gotta be the official name. A is in the cr A is there, but it's in the wrong spot, so I need to keep track of this. Hold on a second. Okay. L is also there. That's good. That's good. What about B? B is not a thing, so don't even get your hopes up about that. B can go screw right off. And O is there as well. We got three of them. We just don't have any of them in the correct spot. So, that's nice. Uh, I think I'll keep the other antidote running for now. Let's see. We have O. Because that'll give me more insight upon if... Um, because we're missing one compound for this cor uh, four compound stirring here. And we haven't tested D yet. So... We should probably do that, and plus, we can see if L and A are in the, those spots. Okay, blood analysis complete. <clears throat> now Jack, I think, is fully rested. Let me check just to make sure here. The brain performance Jack is 53%. Jeez, he must have been overworking himself or something. Let me give him a sedative. Yeah. We have two left. We would have three if I wasn't so stupid, but unfortunately, that's not the way it is. Well, that felt nice. Yeah, don't... Get addicted to that, buddy. Please don't. Another cool thing is that if you hover over the... What what these characters are doing, it'll be louder, so... He's getting shocked. He's pushing buttons. She's... S s standing there. And they're digging, so... Oh, look at Marvin. He's just, like, clawing at the same spot. Isn't he cute? Now let's just... No, I should have her work. I need to stop being so eager to move on. Come on, we can do this. We just have to research this dumb antidote, and we'll be fine. And then we just have to bum-rush the stupid exit with uh, everybody in the group. I think these guys can dig, can't they? I'm not entirely sure. It's defib. Another thing about this whole paralysis thing is that if you have one of these guys working on the antidote, or like a sedative or something, and they're like, oh shit, it got me, then you lose all of that research, and you have to restart it from scratch. Not like, the antidotes don't change, the compounds don't change, but you just lose out on that. Uh, which really sucks. I don't know why they don't just save it on the computer, but... Whatever. Let's have Donald repair the sky for a little bit. We have plenty of battery, and I'm gonna have him go back on the dig site after this, because we have, again, plenty of battery. Let's work. Alright, I think he'll be back up to snuff next, yeah, this turn actually, I was going to say next turn, but he says he's doing fine, so he's doing fine. Okay. Next turn we should have the antidote. And we can see if the A, what was it, the A and L that I had correct in the, the previous antidote? Let me check. Yeah, A, L, and O were correct, but they were in the wrong spot, so... That's good. Now the question is, who do we use it on? Um, what was Brandon at? Because if he needs to be repaired, I don't think I'm going to use it on Donald. Brandon's at 80%. Um, maybe I'll use it on the dog. No, then again, I'll just use it on Brandon. What's the worst that could happen? What is the worst that could happen? Okay, Brandon can go and dig. Yeah. Look at his tux. I love that tux. It's great. Oh, man. A, L, and O. Yeah. Elbow. I'll use computer to research another antidote here. Setting sequence. Unstable. Uh, A was in the wrong spot, L was in the wrong spot, and O was in the wrong spot, so... If I go L, O, A, D, yeah, that'll 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 be good. That'll be fine. All right, I have a question for you, Brandon. What is the team at? This is very important. I want to see what the doctors are currently doing. Sarah, you could do with a sedative, I think. So. Let's have her abandon the project and inject her with a sedative here. I think I'll research another antidote, I mean sedative, after 
I get this antidote done. So, antidote load. Let's see if load is the correct one. We have two team members out of action, which is not good, but... Fortunately, that's just the, the way it's got to be for now. Okay. She's resting up. Don't want to make him stop working. That would suck to lose all that, that research. That one bar of research. Okay. This game has a... A thing for like screwing with you, making you think that you're close to the end, but pulling a fast one on you. It sucks. It's like, oh yeah, you're totally, you know, almost done with the research. Let's put another antidote there that you have to find. Oh, okay, well, screw you two, game. Okay, the dog. What? Oh, God, Donald actually scared me there. I don't know if it was a fog or what, but. Jeez. Looked creepy as hell. I didn't expect him to get up so fast, so... No, don't keep working. Come on. I want the abandoned project to be at the bottom instead. Let's analyze his blood, see what's going on. I think Donald is, uh, doing alright with his performance right now. Yeah, he's at 74%. Uh, 74 he got a nice little rest there, too. I think I'll have him rest a little bit more. Okay. Let's see what the antidote is. We're running out of time here. Okay, so D is correct. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna hold on. Okay, so D L O A. D is correct, but it's in the wrong spot. Same with L. Let's see what O is. O is also correct, but in the wrong spot. Good to know. And A is in the correct spot. Good. Correct. So it's some. It could be. It could be load. Hopefully it's load because it, no, it, it can't be load. What am I talking about? I need. I need to go back to spelling because I'm dumb. What about olda, olda, olda? Yeah, let's go with that. So we know for a fact D is gonna be oh, crap. I almost feel like just completely abandoning that project. Uh, I think I'm going to. I feel like that would be the best thing time-wise. So, abandon project. And we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to research a new antidote. Alright. So, unstable. We don't have very much time left, unfortunately. Um, so, let's see. The fourth combat is gonna be A. So, we can skip on A for now. I think I'm gonna try... O... D... L A O D L A That's got to be it. it it just has to be, right? I'm not entirely sure. I want to see what uh this doctor is at before I put him back on. I want to see what the entire crew is at actually. So Sarah is totally fine. She is doing top notch. Uh Sergeant Burden is not doing very well and so is Marvin. So I'll have those two take a rest here. Because they've been working practically this entire time. So you two take five, or however many you need. And the doctor can, he, he can, he can take the pressure. He's fine. Let's continue the work. Oh man. Uh, this is getting really tense right now. Because I'm not entirely sure I'll actually get this done. I didn't check the, the debris either, because that's important. I can get the antidote and not get the debris and just be screwed, so... That's also important to note. Okay. Okay. Let's work for another 30. God, this is cutting it real close. I don't feel good about this. I wish there was a way just to speed this up. But if I want to, like, get a sedative or an antidote or something... I mean, not a sedative, or a sedative or an adrenaline, I have to put one of these off of this, uh, off this work, which is something I do not want to do. I don't want to do that at all. Okay, hopefully ODLA is the correct one, otherwise, I'm screwed. Like, I hardly have enough time to do this one antidote as it is. Um, I'm gonna have to take a guess if I, if I don't get this right, uh, based off my previous, uh, previous antidotes. But hopefully I can get that correct. This is the furthest I've ever made it. I think the furthest I made it was, uh... 
was I got this cleared, and I got the second antidote, but then I failed, and I found out my stuff got corrupted, so... That sucked. She got defibbed, so I'm gonna have to... Does... Can he do it? Yeah, he can do it. Sweet. There we go. This defib should give them, like, a small boost to... Stamina as well, because that would be really nice. They're getting shocked with electricity, after all, so... Sarah, use computer, help out with your research. They just go back to sitting down like a bunch of dumbs. Which is terrible. Terrible, terrible. Or I could use this time to have her research a sedative, and then use the turn after to get a sedative. That's genius, but then what do I need a sedative for? Let me think. I could use a sedative on the, the doctor here, so I think I'm gonna do that. Phantom Project. And get a sedative going. Alright. We've only got five hours of battery left, but we should that should be plenty of time. I might have to pull the, the robot away for a little bit, but... Research complete. Okay. Now, who is the most exhausted out of the group? I'm guessing the better it'll be Jack. Uh, Jack and Donald. Yep, Donald is actually the one, but I'll use it on... Donald, because I'd like Jack more, and I don't want him to die. Okay. O-D-L-A. Hopefully, this goes well. This is gonna be six turns, I think, which is not good. We don't have very much time. But, uh... Okay. O-D-L-A. Alright. What, what's, what's the time? How much time do we have? 90 minutes, that's three turns. That actually isn't too shabby at all. I can pump out a, uh, a sedative real quick here and have him put on it by the time he wakes up. Okay, Burden is rested, so he can just dig. Um, yeah, this is looking fine. Work. Okay, there's a sedative. Oh, should I use the sedative on the doctor, or should I use it on somebody to dig? Let me check what the the dig site is at right now, because then I'll, I'll base it off of that. What is the debris? 486. Could we pump that out easily? I think we could. I feel confident that we could pump that out easily if we wanted to. Uh, I think the doctor was really low. I'm worried about having to make another antidote. I'm really worried about that right now. Um, but for now, I guess I'll just have him rest. And I'll have her make some adrenalines, I guess. I don't know what to do. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Jack, I, I guess I'll have him get a sedative. Yeah. I'll have him be sedated. What is Marvin at? Marvin is 53%? Jeez. That dog must have just gotten completely pooped out. Alright, you can rest, Doctor. You can take this time to rest. Alright. Let's roll it over. Oh, man. I'm so close, but if this compound is screwed, then I don't know what to do. Oh, well, there goes the sedative research. That sucks. See what I mean? Fib. Stupid, stupid paralysis. Next turn, he'll wake up and we can see what the compound is. Let me take a look at my notes real quick so I can check uh, to see what. If this compound isn't it, I want to know what um, what the next compound will be. So, just give me a second. Oh no! I lost all of my research. That ain't good at all. That's real. I accidentally closed it without. Realizing, son of a, that sucks. Hopefully, well, hopefully this is it. Otherwise, I don't know what to do. God damn it! Go back to digging, Marvin. We need you. We've only got six and like six hours to dig out all that debris and find this last one. So they're both pretty rested. Yeah, Jack, you get back to work, please. All right, and we have to analyze his blood. I lost all of my research that I had down on this notepad here. Which sucks. I All I know is that A was the last one. It was correct. 
So, hopefully, hopefully I can make do with that. All the other ones are in random places. Uh, but those places were good to know in case I screwed up. I think it was ODLA. Oh, O is correct. What about D? D is correct. Yes, we got it. Hell yeah. ODLA is the correct compound. Hell yeah. Unbelievable. We discovered the cure. Amazing work, Sarah. We're saved. I'm afraid it'll be worthless if we don't leave this cave in time. The creation of the antidote will be in vain if we can't get away from the Medusa virus's reach. Understood. We'll focus on the digging now. Can I have them dig? No, of course I can't. They're just gonna sit there and be a cat. I can have them produce all of the sedatives, though. Or adrenalines, which would probably be better at this point. Let me see what, uh, what the group is at before I do this. Yeah, I think we'll make it. I feel confident that we'll make it. I'll, I'll have these guys make uh, adrenalines just to keep these guys pumped up full of chems. Just to be sure. Because I don't want any sedatives, people being on downtime or anything. That wouldn't be good. I'm going to try to get this done before the 3.30 mark because I don't want to pull the, the robot away. Um, I wonder what would happen if we... Um, if we ran out of battery now, now that we have the research, I'm not sure. It would probably end at a failure state, though, which would suck. Yeah, we got this. There's no way we don't got this. What's that about being cocky and failing horribly at the last second because of it? I've never heard that saying before. <laughs> Three kilograms left. Somebody could just, like, kick a pebble and be done. They're like, oh no, we're blocked in. There's three kilograms left. Oh no. Okay. I feel like pumping Jack full of chems because I know that's what he, he, would, uh, he would want. So let's inject him with adrenaline for this last run. Oh my god, I feel so good about finally being done with this. Over the last, um, like the last two weeks, every time I was like, oh, I feel like recording um, Gods Will Be Watching. I was like, I'm going to have to go through... All of that research BS again, even though I was really close, and god damn it, it was just depressing. Let me just put it that way. So let's do this. Let's finish it. What? Did. Yeah, look at that. We got the research. Fuck the gods. We really did it. Let's get out of here. Oh, look at that. The doctor. One hell of a ride. Nice. Oh, there's Liam and Shaman and Mr. McBeard. Amazing shit back there, too. Don't. Our mission is to protect the team, not engage in direct combat. Uh, that would be pretty dumb with everybody in the open. I'm so happy to see you again, Sergeant. What are you doing, Liam? This is... Is this one of your twisted notion of revenge? If that's what you want, you'll end it faster by just executing me. These people don't have anything to do with Xenolifer. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? I'm sorry, but revenge is not what I'm after. What I'm really after is a cure to the Medusa virus. That thing about leaving your team isolated with the uh, virus? Well, that was a gamble. I have my own research team, you know. But I could never apply these conditions to them, if you know what I mean. Anyway, all's well that ends well, no? I never imagined you would be this kind of son of a bitch, Liam. Oh, it doesn't feel good being on the other side now, huh? No one likes being Xenolifer's enemies, but you two made your choices. Enjoy defending your oppression and slavery. We have to go now, and we can't take any risks by letting any of you follow us or alerting the Constella Federation. So, farewell, Abraham. He has an MG, that's gonna suck. Oh no! He blew up my ship! My amazing ship! What a dick! What are you doing? If you leave us here, we'll die! Please, you know I'm not an assassin. It's just that if you get off this planet, I'm sure you'd further complicate my plans. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find a way to survive. You may even end up liking... liking your retirement here if you give it a chance. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Thank you, Liam, for blowing up our only way off of the, uh... off the, the planet with the deadly Medusa virus. Uh, beat Chapter 3 in easy difficulty. Gallery alternative soundtrack. Beat Chapter 3 in original concept art Everdusk ship, the one that blew up. It's just gonna show a piling, just a pile of smoking scrap metal. Keep everybody alive! Gallery concept art Cave Lab. 
inject a lethal shot to somebody without killing him. We got human experimentation. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm glad we didn't sacrifice anybody, because it looks like things carry over from chapter to chapter. Although, I'm not sure if they will have much consequence, because with Jack, it, um, it didn't have any consequence. Like, he got a freaking arm. If anything, it was a positive. Here's the stats. Your favorite product was antidotes? Of course. What, was, what else was it going to do? Your favorite risk level was unstable, just like most people, I assume. Yeah. Most people did. 2% did safe. I got lucky there with the RNG gods. Thank you, RNG Jesus. Um, you sacrificed no one. Wow. 50% of the people killed the dog. What a bunch of heartless bastards. Uh, you completed chapter 3 in 23 hours. Nice. Fastest was 6 hours. Damn. They must have just gotten, like, extremely lucky with the two. Your guinea pig was Donald. Yep. That's because he has the most body weight, so... It just makes the most sense. Alright, let's, uh... Just do, 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 chapter 4. Nope. Don't want to go to chapter 4 yet. Let's save and exit. Yes. Alright. No. Uh, the, well... I accidentally just exited out of the game. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go back to the main menu. But anyway, I think I'll just cut it off here then. I don't know what I'm going to put here instead. But hopefully I'll get back into this game soon. There's a good chance I will now that I won't sit there and think like, oh man, I have to go back and replay all that crap again. Uh, so that, that'll help out a lot. I might switch up my recording program for using uh, recording my mic because it has crapped out on me a lot recently and is kind of pissing me off. But I think I'm going to wrap up the part here. I expect this game to be released more often on my channel. I apologize to anybody who is looking forward to that uh, and just hasn't seen it. But, yeah, as I said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and bye-bye.